Today we're on this concrete tile roof and we're going to go ahead and replace a concrete tile. What we've got is we've got a tile right there that has a crack in it. You can see the crack on the surface and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to replace a single tile. This roof is about five years old and that break is probably due to footfall. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take it out and try to get a match for it. The nice thing about this roof is it's a multicolored roof. You can see we've got a little bit of a, a reddish tinge to this tile, a grayish tinge to this tile. So the roof has about four or five different variations of roofing color in it and it'll make mashing a bit easier. So what I've done is I've just taken off the broken piece and I'm taking a look to see how this tile roof is constructed. Now, on a lot of tile roofs, depending on when it was built, they used to just um, nail the first and second rows, first and second courses, and then the rest of the roof would be just held on by the sheer weight of the concrete tiles. That all pretty much changed after the um, 94, 95 era where they decided to start nailing uh, down every single tile. And that's what we have here. Every single tile is nailed down. Some codes also allowed uh, roofing contractors to nail down every other row. But in our situation, you can tell we've got the roofing nails through this bottom row, and this one right here is nailed down as well. So when we remove this tile, we're going to have to somehow get to that nail uh, immediately underneath this top row of tiles, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. But right now, we're going to go ahead and try to get a match on this. Okay, we're at my favorite roofing supply house. We're going to see if we can match up this room. Here, I found a tile from Monier. As you can see, it matches very well. The new tile is a little bit glossier, but that's simply because it's new. But this looks pretty good. It's a pretty decent match. Here's a look at our tiles. You can tell they're very, very comparable. Like I said, one's... I'm a little bit older, it's got five years to wear, the other one's new, but the thing to keep in mind is that the width is exactly the same. The interlocking edge right here is exactly the same as well, and the color is pretty much in line. Earlier I had made mention that this looked like footfall damage. The reason that I say that is, if you take a look at where the damage is, it corresponds to somebody placing their foot near the center of the tile. And this part of the tile is unsupported because it's resting on the, the upper edge of, of the lower course and it's resting on the deck up above. So the best place to walk is where the tiles are supported and that would be right in this area or that lower lip area right here. So if I'm walking up this roof, I would prefer to step right on these trailing edges because that's the area that's supported. If I start walking in the center, you can see the center is basically unsupported and that's where you're going to put a lot of pressure on that tile and cause possible breakage. Here's a pretty simple tool I like to use. It's a reciprocating saw with a very large blade at the end. And the way that this is going to work is I'm going to take this reciprocating saw and I'm going to demonstrate on this tile. I'm going to stick it up as far as I can and hook that nail and cut the nail right off. You can, you can see the head of this nail right here. Um, this means that I cut it off and the shingle should pull right out. And there you go, after that nail head was cut, the tile slides right out. One thing worth mentioning, you can see right there, that's the nail that was holding that tile. Obviously, we're not going to be able to replace that nail. We're going to go ahead and use roofing cement to seal it in. But once the roofer has roofing cement out, the best thing to do is pull that nail and make sure that the felt paper is covered up with a little bit of roofing cement to prevent any leakage. Okay, here's the nail. I just went ahead and pulled it up. Obviously, that nail has left a small little hole. And I'm going to take my roofing cement Patch that up so we don't have any leaks. There's the roofing cement nail hole patch. That's all it took was just a dab of cement on there. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to take roofing cement. I'm going to line this outer edge of tile with it. 
The reason for that is obviously I can't re-nail this tile. So I can go ahead and re-cement it in place. And that's perfectly legal to all codes. I'm going to re-cement it in place and now I'll keep this one tile in while all the other ones are nailed. Okay, I've smeared the roofing cement on that outer edge. And I'm going to go ahead and slide the tile in place. You can see I've got that one tile in place, the pry bars. Once they're let down, we'll go ahead and put weight on the tile and the roofing cement will dry and it'll be permanently attached to this roof. There you have it. The repair is complete. Blends perfectly into the existing uh, roof. And it took about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to find the actual tile match. Taking an overview of the slope, I think one would be hard pressed to find the actual repair.